Well, the Hindenburg hit job on Adani has now a clear link to China's Communist Party and the Chinese government. Senior advocate and Rajya Sabha MP Mahesh Jaitmalani posted on X a testimony before the US Congress of a whistleblower who worked closely with Angla Cheng. Angla uh, Cheng is the wife of Mark Kingdon, the mastermind behind the Hindenburg hit job who made 183 crore rupees by shorting Adani stocks in collusion with Kotak Mahindra International Limited. The plot thickens. From Nathan Anderson and Mark Kingdon in the US and Kotak Mahindra International Limited in India, the conspiracy now clearly points to the involvement of the Chinese government's hand. Sworn testimony before the US Congress by whistleblower and senior journalist Shannon Wang Sant on October 21, 2022, throws light on how Mark Kingdon's wife, An La Cheng, works closely with the Chinese government and the Communist Party of China and gets paid by them. Shannon Wan San, a freelance journalist with over two decades of experience, was stationed in China and Hong Kong for over a decade between 2006 and 2017. When she returned to the US, she was offered a post as business editor to report on US-China affairs in 2020. She joined the multimedia platform SubChina. SubChina's founder and CEO, was Anla Cheng, wife of Mark Kingdom. Shannon detailed how Anla Cheng began to speak daily with her and give instructions on what she should report on and how she should report it. She recalled that Cheng pointed her in the direction of Peter Walker, a former senior partner at McKinsey. He was a regular on Chinese government-owned media platforms and agencies. It was clear that he was a pro-China mouthpiece. He went so far as to justify the yoga camps as vocational education and training programs. Shannon told the US Congress that she was told to support Peter Walker's book, Powerful, Different, Equal, Overcoming the Misconceptions Between China and the US. When Shannon argued that it was unethical, Cheng told her that Walker would give sub-China a lot of money. It can only be presumed that this money would come from the Chinese government or the CCP. Around the time that pro-democracy protests began in Hong Kong, Shannon interviewed a tycoon, Jimmy Lai. His response to her email, calling the communist regime evil, brought down the anger of SubChina's management on Shannon. An La Cheng then told SubChina's staff that she had spoken with CAST, or China Association for Science and Technology. CAST calls itself an NGO linking the Communist Party of China and the Chinese government to the country's science and technology community. Such NGOs are usually fronts for the Chinese government itself and are funded to do its bidding abroad. Cheng told sub-China reporters that a Chinese scientist was being wrongfully prosecuted as a spy in the US and that the team had to protect him. It is clear from this that Cheng was following orders of the Chinese government. An La Cheng announced that a Chinese online education portal called VipKid would soon become a part of the sub-China network. VipKid had been in the news in 2019. They had put on notice two American teachers for discussing Taiwan and Tiananmen Square in a manner that went against Chinese government preferences. Subsequently, Cheng sacked Shannon because she was not in alignment meaning that Shannon refused to toe the line of the Communist government of China. Shannon was told to sign a restrictive non-disclosure agreement and if she didn't, she was threatened that she would not be able to work at any other media house. Shannon told the US Congress that after she left the organization, she conducted open source research which showed sub-China's links to the Chinese Communist Party and to the China Overseas Exchange Association, yet another front for the Chinese government. Bureau Report, NDTV Profit.